Hi, I'm Holly, creator of One Up Hair Ties. This video is a quick and dirty introduction to two new techniques that I've thought of. These new techniques came to me after having some Skype sessions with some lovely stroke survivors. The instructions that I usually send with the hair ties weren't quite working for them, so I've had a think and I've come up with two new ideas that may help them and others. To simulate stroke paralysis, I'm wearing my trusty old man hand. The videos just wouldn't look quite right without um, a hand on. So the first method we're doing is a reverse of my current instructions. We're going to use our good hand to pull and create tension, and we're going to use our weaker hand to hold the toggle in place for where we want our ponytail. Now I'm going to do a demonstration. I haven't had much practice with this. If you take this on, I'm sure you'll do a lot better than I will. So we start with a normal hair tie. Over our head. Under the hair. Over the ears. And we pull it tight. Hold on to it with your good hand. And I'm just gonna move the toggle back to about here. And then I'm just going to feed this through and I'm going to hold my prosthetic hand in place while I pull with my good one. And because I'm using my good hand, I can pull this long end really tight and now I have a good ponytail. I can now take the end and wrap it around and create a nice tight wrap. And the very end, if you have the ability, you just tuck that into a previous loop. If the usual pull and uh, tighten isn't working for you. So the second method I'm going to do is um, for those of you that may not be able to get your hand all the way up to the top, we're actually going to use the weaker arm as an anchor. So what I did was with the hair tie that everybody gets in the mail, I've created a loop on one end and that will actually go over the weaker arm. So we'll start by setting it up the same way as all the others, over the head, under the hair, over the ears, and then pull tight. Now I'm pulling the end that's got the loop on it because now I've got some length. We can feed that over our hand and that becomes the anchor. We now then take this shorter end and start pulling with the previous version, we just won't have that anchor point for the ponytail. So you got to pull hard and fast. Like that. And there you go. There is a ponytail. Like I said, I haven't had much practice. These are just new ideas and I hope they work for you. Thank you. Bye.